Oh, Yo, he was around front and up down. Are we getting right into it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks like they're going into it. All right, no button check here. Oh, uh, yep. yep. We are <laughs> we are in for it. And we were talking about those precision devastating combos from Tilda and immediately opens up. Only about 27%, but oh, the fact that he's able to get that so quickly, did that's, he just taunt? Yeah. No, and, I don't did see. Did my doth mine eyes deceive me? I think they what? do good, sir. Where are we going? Uh, Okay. Uh, this is a very strange approach to the start of this match, but regardless, I think they're rolling with it. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. Oh, yeah. Combo sitting low to the stage, I think, might actually be of the benefit of Tilde here. Um, I feel like there's, there's a lot of opportunity for Hero to just sort of open up a lot of damage after one string. So if Tilde keeps their boots to the ground and just reacts accordingly, I think they'll be fine. Now, if you are... Oh, that's a good zoom. Uh, but if you are, Silvio, what kind of, a, you know, the, those down B options, what's really going to help you out in this matchup? I think the buffs are definitely the name of the game here. Uh, you want to keep a cellar rattle so that you can keep consistent pace with Falco. You want to keep Oomph and Psych up live so that when you do land that hit, it packs a punch. A lot of things may be nullified by the presence of Reflector, and that's whatever. But the more important tools are how you're going to be boxing and keeping Falco at a distance. And the other thing that we're seeing a lot of, those instant up Bs, just this quick get off me pressure, especially because against Silvio, that's super important. Getting him off of you is paramount. He's dead? That's a hell of a response to someone up smashing in your face. That's crazy. I mean, that's a response to that, but I mean, at this point, we have a completely clean stock lead for uh, Silvio. Oh, but it might not last too long. Once again, we have to be so mindful of Tilde's absolutely brutal combos. Another one starting up right here, but Silvio getting back down to the ground, not really suffering that much damage or even a death for it, like these, these slight missteps. I think Sylvia's doing a really good job of making sure these combos don't stick too long with just really solid DI and then trying to find the best placing that he can out of them. The ledge is not the best spot to be in, but if you're in a really awkward space for Falco to kill you, he's only going to be finding those stray hits instead. So it's a... It, not the best of situations for Silvio, especially as Tilde takes practically no damage at all, moving into a last stock situation for both players. Yeah, we do have another one of those buffs coming out for uh, Silvio, but oh, it's worth noting that in that last stock, Tilde didn't do those crazy, crazy combos. Instead, he just won neutral consistently until eventually he could finish the stock off with one of his reliable finishers. So if that's the approach he needs to take, that is a very viable approach. But as that, as, you know, as I've been talking about it, it seems that Silvio, with just a little bit of stage control, has managed to do so much here. Is that enough to yeah, do Yeah, with it? the back air? Yes, sir. Because Swoosh keeps you locked in place, and then you don't have to worry about if that's going to kill or not. Back air just gets it done while racking up the damage. Yeah. That was phenomenal stage play from Silvio. Constantly, so just nares. Just forward nares, just back airs. Just yeah. punish the landings. So, yeah, this is one thing that we hadn't really seen that much of in the game. Damage that much damage that racked up. I mean, uh, that, uh, those legend guards. The fact that, you know, Falco can kind of have a limited recovery, that Silvio was just absolutely prepared to punish it. And as we went into game two on the same stage, which I honestly agree with, I think this is a very good stage for Falco. But the fact that Silvio proved already that he is not scared of, uh, of him in the least and is able to take these games, it's fine to go back in. Well, when you really like crunch it down to the numbers, Hero is sort of the inverse of Falco, where his combo string may not be especially large, but he can get that very powerful one-two. He can keep the damage either even or slightly in his favor, depending on what he is comboing with. And I dare you to find a situation where a Hero struggles to get the kill. It's just not a problem with this character. Keeping stage control, that can be iffy. But the way that Silvio has been approaching Battlefield, I think really helps minimize that damage because we haven't seen Tilde really find safe landings to start those combos. At the same time, we just saw how Tilde threw out a down air in order to land. And it's worth noting that despite the fact that Hero has this big sword, his up air is just a little measly kick up in the air. Oh, he's that boot. It's yeah, but boot. it's not necessarily that potent of a juggling tool. And I think that's been helping Silvio where he's just right on top of him both when he's the aggressor and when he's trying to get back down to the ground. Need to see some of these normals land. Low on MP, meaning low on reversal options, low on mix-up ability. He, may, he actually, despite yeah. being low on MP, went for the oomph. All right. And, okay, that neutral air, though. Not necessarily the strongest oomph move to hit. And at 
this point, though, a lot of rage, a lot of rage on Silvio. And with this Accelerado, he's actually just going to use it to run right into that forward oh, air. We've seen that a couple of times now when Silvio has been on stream. He's just too fast to really position himself accurately. And that's something to be very careful of because the Accelerado, very rewarding for this particular matchup. It gives you the speed to keep track of Falco and hunt him down effectively. But if you can't properly pilot Hero, it's just not as lethal. It's like if you know, if you notice right there when he had Accelerado, he actually wasn't comfortable going for the uh, the ledge guard right there because he just kind of zoomed too far back and forth and just wound up on stage. Yeah, he's tricky. Without being able to challenge it, my man needs to play with spirits turned on more often. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna eat all of that damage. Uh Okay, that's going to just be blocked, which means that Tilde is going to be taking the stock, considering the fact that game one was almost a three stock, and then it kind of went down to this last stock situation, but still, I would call it dominant for Silvio. The fact that this time around, Tilde has been the one just in complete and absolute control, it speaks volumes. It seems that there was some really good adaptation. There's also this other component that if you're a hero, you sometimes just don't get the moves that you need. You just don't always have access to the tools that are necessary for you in this kind of matchup. I think when we take the focus at, to stage control, it's easy to see why Tilde has made this game too definitively his. Because Tilde's done such a good job of keeping center stage. We see Silvio turn the reversal in center stage, find the kill because of it. But Tilde has so confidently been able to find these strings and net big damage because he's playing the stage well. That game too was executed amazingly by Tilde. Yeah, and that means that as we move into game three, I think you're right, that stage control aspect was so important. So maybe change up the stage. Maybe make it trickier for Falco to really maintain that kind of uh, pressure. I would say battle, small battlefield isn't banned. I oh. could see, oh, we're going to town, town and city. city. That's a stage that Falco generally likes that stage, correct? I think it's, it's not just that Falco likes that stage. It's that... Uh, until he's able to play that stage well, because all of that space, he can navigate it, go for the more lethal combos. As long as he's comfortable being able to pillar, he can make really good use of the plats, or he can play it when there's no plats and just juggle really well. But Hero's tools, I think, can make better use of this space, and it's all determined on how well Silvio is able to deny the base plat. That's the most important part here. And one thing that Sylvie, uh, sorry, rather that Tilde is doing is you'll notice the exact space that he's operating in. Again, with that downer coming on right from above. In the end, Silvio has to throw out forward airs in order to prevent it. And then whenever he does it, Tilde's just finding these massive combo starters with that down air. Oh, back air's not going to be finding its mark, but that is dead center stage. Really good sense of control. Does he find the mark? He keeps on looking for these down tilts at the ledge. Oh, and I don't know if he's going to be able to find them, but the fact that he's able to so confidently cover the ledge, a really good showing from Tilde in coming into game three. And there's another one of yeah. those down air That's that what I'm to see. doing what they need to. Tilde with a massive lead here. 49% is all that's been dished onto him. He can just phantom back and forth. Why not? What are the consequences? At this point, he is very confident. He can throw out a laser even though there's bounce involved. Yeah, he don't really, he don't really mind that much. He doesn't really need to mind that much. The reward on landing the uh, side B or neutral B is just that much greater for him that he could take that risk. Also, at no point in this set has Silvio really given Tilde a reason to be afraid of him with Accelerado. Honestly, I'd say that after that game one, he doesn't feel any fear at all. He's respecting. He definitely is. And I like that. Remember we were talking about how that down air has been a really good tool. Silvio, the counterplay, just parry it. But... <laughs> Oh, that only lasts for so long, and now Silvio needs to be getting this kill, but these unboosted moves from uh, from Hero are just kind of not doing it right now. Oh, are we going to see some shenanigans with Bounce and Reflector at some point? We very well could. I'm almost certain that Bounce survives past uh, where Reflector will break, but regardless, I don't know if we're even going to see that kind of situation. Tilde playing so confidently right now. He finds his hits just fine. The damage... It's kind of finding its way. It's not really like super big combos. It's these little bouts here and there. It's more the ledge play that Tilde has been doing a fantastic job of. 
And speaking of ledge play, this could be Silvio's chance to get it started. Nice job right there, just going for that, chucking him up with the up throw. But at this point, look at that 52% on his last stock. And it does not look like Tilde has become timid in the least. He's still putting on the same pressure, still putting on all of the damage and aggression that he was. And at this point, your Silvio, I don't know if he has a jump off stage. It's going to be making it back, but I mean, 111% has barely been able to touch Tilde at all. This is just looking commanding for the bird at the I moment. mean, the path to victory is very clear for Tilde right now. It's all of this unanswered aggression. He's able to stay on top of him with these buttons, and yeah, it may not be big Falco combos. Really wonky dodging right there from down tilt to up smash. But it's the fact that like, Tilde is not giving Silvio any room to breathe. He's just letting him go through his menu. He doesn't particularly care. He's making it count more as where the normals are finding their marks. That damage is just looking so good for Tilde. It is also worth noting that at this point, he is expending MP. And I mean, this isn't a hypothetical world where somehow Silvio manages to get this next stock without dying. But he is, might have to be working with less MP than he would really hope to be if he wants to be making a big comeback like that. Yeah, we're not even seeing him attempt to go for the edge guards. I mean, at this point, that's kind of how you would win, is just maybe kill Tilde really early, but... No, yeah, there we go. Excellent response right there. Side B into the ledge, ledge from back air. There you go. Tilde moves on to fight Quid over in Winner's Finals. Yeah, and that's actually a matchup I'm really excited to be seeing. That's going to be a Now, it's up. worth noting, remember how those down are working so well for Tilde? Let's say, hypothetically, he's fighting against Quid's Ivysaur and he is directly above him. Would he be able to down air in the same way? <laughs> Not sure. I'm, I'm going to say no, because if you guys have seen the hitbox visualization of Ivysaur's up air, that is a massive, it's big. It's pretty massive big. move. 